I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well, this must be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high-res black and white. I die. Give me a lot of money. Hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I mean. Oh, thanks. This village is deserted. How curious. I haven't gotten a use for this fruit. Mm, no. You look familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh yeah, but it's more than that. We've met before, back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh! The whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. Cannibals? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it's true. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. Really? That's fascinating. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle, completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes, dip you in a light corn batter. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. I'm Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. Threepwood. Mighty pirate, yada yada yada. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh no. Mount Acidophilus is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. The god of the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. Okay. When we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset. 
belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really, and potentially hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the volcano god, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. But when we threw the sacrifice into the volcano, Mount Acidophilus erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. The usual. Then one day, we tried Bree. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the protein so important to muscle building. Stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific, I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. When does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the volcano god. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the volcano god's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. I really want to see the volcano. You're just not a cannibal, and your presence would defile the sanctity of our ceremony. Oh, can't you make an exception just this once? It's an emergency! I'd like to, but if I let you in, then I'd have to let everybody in. Next thing you know, cannibalism is in, and they're making documentaries about us. I'll, uh, see you around. That looks like a mask. Stop. What do you want? I'll, uh, see you around. I'll just walk over here so he won't see me put this on. Ick. Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis, accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose, free of all fat and trans fatty acids, so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village and not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss them in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Uh, 
haggis? Hey. Oh, hi, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't ye be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. Tis but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye, and if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. Wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. And that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole blooming bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. I'll let you get back to work. I want to use the cheese with that. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. Like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. No offense, Elaine, but you are way too heavy for me to haul you around. The cursed ring exploded. It doesn't look like she's hurt. Well, except for that whole turn to gold by a pirate curse thing. It's full of sugar water now.
have poked holes in it. It's full of sugar water now. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. 